Oh, hey. Welcome, viewers. This is Doom coming to you with a Q&A session for most of my viewers. I've got a list here of some people who have wanted to know things about me, so I'm going to sit here and tell you guys about me. By the way. Great cider. Okay. One guy named Bob. I don't know who he is. He just put it out there. Asked me, what is my favorite thing to read? Well... I don't read a lot of stories and stuff like that because I read my, I make my own. But uh, Archaeology is magazine is one of my favorites. Pretty informative. I like reading dig books about you know the dig notes of people doing uh, digs and stuff like that out there and doing a lot of archaeology research. It's always pretty fun, especially like mummies and things like that. Everybody likes mummies, except the mummies. <laughs> okay. Naughty Special from Ruskin, Florida. What is the difference between gluten-free food and non-gluten-free foods? Well, one is a pain in the ass to make. The other one's really easy to use. Gluten-free is, uh, gluten is a protein, okay? For you to be gluten-free, your body can't process that or you're allergic to it. I'm one of the people that is, I'm just completely, it's poisonous to me almost. So I have to be gluten-free. Certain grains have gluten, certain ones don't. Normal wheat has gluten, rye, spelt, malt. A lot of those ones do, but then there's ones like corn, uh, millet, sorghum, tapioca. A lot of those don't have it. Coconut flour doesn't have gluten, which is really good to add in foods if you want to sweeten it up and get that coconut flavor. Okay. And by the way, for all you guys down in Florida, I wish you safe help, uh, safe beans up down there. And I know you guys had a lot of floodings recently, and I hope you guys are staying safe. <clears throat> My friend, run or fun racer from Richmond, Virginia, New Richmond, Virginia, or Wisconsin. Sorry, <laughs> I keep saying Richmond, Virginia because, well, you know, first time I ever heard of a Richmond, Wisconsin. But go Walt Wolverines. Anyways, hi Sergeant Albrecht. You guys make sure that uh, you listen to Sheriff Albrecht. He's a pretty cool guy. I served with him in the military. Okay, why do I use my phone instead of a game capture device? Hmm, very good question. Because right now I'm filming this on my phone. See this Frankenstein beast right here? It has fit. It's uh, has uh, prone to fits of depression. It's uh, older than uh, the oldest Sasquatches on the planet. It's older than everything else I can understand. Uh, it could barely run onto the internet. It doesn't like doing anything for me. It hates me. And I think it's possibly because I just strangle it half the time. You know, it's like my Bart Simpson to Homer. And, uh, well, it does what it does. <laughs> hey, what's this thing? Oh my god, that's a floppy drive. That was before CDs. <laughs> That was one of the original devices that we used to put information into a computer. Then you would have a floppy disk drive here where it were really floppy floppy. And well, if the, you broke them or tweaked them a little bit, they were ruined. And back then, now you could probably get them for like super, super cheap, like a thousand a penny. I don't know. But uh, back then, it was like 16 for 20 bucks in the 80s. So yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy back then. All the brand new things. We didn't even have internet back then. You could barely even contact the other people. If you wanted to contact other people, you would sit there and actually have to know their phone number, put your phone into the uh, dialer, and then it would actually go... You guys probably heard that sometimes. And then it would dial up the other person's computer, and if they allowed access, you could get access. If not, and you hacked, boom. That's why the movie War Games was so prevalent, because... I was that kid's age in that movie when War Games came out. And I was also the same age as Elliot during the E.T. movie. Okay, so I hope that uh, answers your question, fundraiser. Okay, my friend Dark Angel 79 Who is your favorite Xbox friend, and is it me, lol? Well, sorry to say, it is not you. Uh, and it is not Dark Echo, because you guys are basically the same thing to me. You're both excellent buddies uh, from online. You, I've known you guys for years. You guys are also my map makers, just like I was in the Halo Reach days. Uh, 
one was named Tudori, the other one was called Swash two eight or nine eighty four, who actually has a YouTube channel. He actually has some pretty good stuff. Uh, but my favorite Xbox buddy uh, is Undead Gamer. Uh, I've known him all his life, which is about oh seventeen years, almost sixteen years. Uh, that's because he's my son. Uh, but if you're talking about people that are not my son, I would have to say it is Random Person Seven Hundred Seven, just because he's a buddy of mine in real life, and I've known him for about eight nine years now. You know, we were game testers for Microsoft and stuff like that. So we uh, really liked uh, doing and hanging out with each other and stuff. And I helped him a lot with life issues. And then he's also helped me out a lot. Okay, so I hope that doesn't, you know, uh, put a dampener on you, Dark Angel. Okay, now, Zombie of Legend 4 from Indiana. Will you do more Dead Island videos? Happy zombie killing time! Of course, of course, of course. I think I just did episode one recently. I'll do some more, and I will, of course, show you guys some funny things about, you know, Dead Island and stuff, and I really would like, if I'm on there, you guys send me an a invite saying, hey, can I jump onto your game with you? And, uh, yeah, we'll run around. But one thing you have to worry about is what my old friend Hams used to do, which was go chase my grenades. Because I love chucking grenades, and he'd always run after them and try to catch them. I don't know why. He'd just do that. And I love whacking the people with my sword and karate kicking the crap out of them. As you could probably see in some of my videos. Okay. My name is Jeff22 from Elan. Can you make more spring rolls? That's a good possibility. I do love spring rolls, and they're really good, and I will probably do a couple more cooking videos pretty shortly, and I'll probably do the traditional spring rolls, which, because the first video I did, I adapted to the recipe, because I like doing that with recipes and stuff, and I'll actually show you the full dish course on how to make spring rolls. Now, those are fresh spring rolls, not the deep fried spring rolls, because they're gluten, and I can't have those. So, yes, if you're gluten-free... Fresh spring rolls at Thai restaurants are the ones that you can have because they're just tapioca wrapping. Okay? Which is awesome. If you're up in Washington, Bellevue area, best Thai restaurant in the entire area, and I'm talking six cities area, even in Seattle and all that, is a place in Bellevue called Thai Kitchen. Oh! Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, Real Kevin Gaming, or Real Kevin King, from Real Kevin Gaming, YouTube channel maker, uh, one of my buddies, uh, when did I start my YouTube channel? Well, I started my channel in August of 2011. Yeah, my first uh, video was just putting out a DS9 space station thing, and I wanted to have all these people to like attack it and then people shooting back to make it look like, you know, Deep Space Nine being attacked. Yes, it is a full playable map for you guys that love Halo Reach. So there's many different types, you know, like there's little mini zombies that chase you around and crap like that. Big laser blasters that can blast the crap out of you and stuff. It's so fun. Okay. And check out Real Kevin Gaming's uh, YouTube channel. He has a lot of cool videos and stuff like that. The turkey dinner that looked on their table is awesome. Uh, though he didn't let me eat any because he couldn't shove it to the screen. Okay. <laughs> Teaming Elm 99, one of my buddies. How old was I when I started YouTube? Okay. <clears throat> I was four years from now, and I'm 45 now, so I'd be 41. Although I feel like I'm still 20, you know. Even though I got a few gray hairs here and there and stuff like that. Uh, I still feel like I'm 20 years old. I haven't changed anything since I was 20 years old. And I'll probably stay with that same way when I die. So, what got Teamy Now sent me another one. What got me into making YouTube videos? Well, a couple different things. Uh, two were my friends, Dark Echo 7 and Dark Archangel 79, who used to be Chidori and Swash 984, were uh, part of it. 
because they were uh, Halo Reach map makers like I was. Uh, and then Red vs. Blue from Rooster Teeth, really funny ass thing. Got me thinking about YouTube videos a little bit here and there and stuff like that. So I, I decided to, eh, what the hell, you know, I tried to make one. I got some people there. It was pretty good. Uh, my second, my real video that I really wanted to actually make a video of was called Doom Ball the Sports Show. Okay. And I will tell you right now, it was really hard to working with kids. Just for my commercial of Doom Snacks alone, took me about two hours to film because a lot of the kids just didn't have the patience to sit there and do what they were told. They wanted to screw off, screw up, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it was pretty fun making most of it. Uh, the voices are mine, you can obviously tell. Uh, the second one, which I incorporated a friend of mine's help, a uh, random person 707. He helped me do it and stuff like that. And we basically ab the whole thing. I didn't even write down a script, you know. And uh, so we basically sat there and blah, 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 It's a fun game. If you guys got Halo Reach or you're planning on getting Halo Reach, you could download all my Doom Ball and other maps like that uh, just off the file share. You can find them pretty easy. Uh, Doom Ball is awesome. That's why if you look in GTA 5, I have the Disciple of Doom crew. That's because, well, Doom the Rock Monster, not Doom this guy. Okay. Evil Eye Otaku 48. What is my opinion on the new Star Wars? Haven't seen it yet. Ah, I'm going to see it. Uh, <clears throat> I was six years old when I saw the first Star Wars. The first one with, you know, George Lucas first was doing it with uh, Harrison Ford and all those guys. And push the button kind of guys. You know, things like that. Um, I was six years old. We That thing just came out. It was like the biggest thing in America going on, you know. It was like, you know, the Pope and the President decided to have a barbecue. You know, that kind of bigness. And as soon as I saw that movie, I knew I had to be a Luke Skywalker. You know, it's just like, hey, put a damn gigantic death ball in front of me and let me fly down a little thing and shoot the crap out of it. Booyah. And then I got a PC game called X-Wing. Really good flight simulator. I would sit there for hours sometimes, just flying on the Death Star, just shooting the towers, crap like that, blowing the crap out of everything. I think my last record was, I think, uh, 9,000 TIE Fighters, you know, a bunch of different ships, and I only died 57 times. And I've blown away 42 uh, Star Destroyers. Easy way to do it. Shoot the little balls on top with your photon torpedoes, switch to your ion cannons, do a run-through, blast them with it, shut them down. You park, you know that little big key thing? You park right there, put your lasers on full, and just start turning and shooting. And kind of like drill a hole into the ship and boom, it blows up. Make sure when it starts to crackle and pop, you take the fuck off first. Really fast. Okay. Also, when you are being chased by a lot of TIE fighters, you look behind you and then zip around and the lasers go bye-bye. Pretty easy. But yeah, I'm very, very, very excited for going to see this new Star Wars movie. Uh, I, my opinion on the girl, I think she might be like Luke or uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo's daughter. You know, I don't know about the main character. I that you know they don't don't show you anything. But I heard Harrison Ford, you know, broke his leg while filming the thing. Uh, I'm really kind of interested to see if they actually kept that in there or anything like that and hope he's doing okay uh, because, you know, these great stars and actors put themselves through a lot to make these movies, you know. Okay. Why? Okay, Deuce Apex uh, basically asked the same question as uh, Timmy Nell did. What started me doing my YouTube channel? Okay, uh, same thing, you know, a bunch of different people and stuff. And then one thing that really got me actually, I think, really started it up uh, was when I was watching my, 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 I had my son, he was watching a Smosh video, right, Smosh Gaming. And they had one of my custom maps, which was Motor Parkour Skyscrapers on there. And they were all laughing and racing and having a good time, except for Laser Corn, which 
I'm sorry to say you chose the wrong vehicle. Nobody chooses a blazer or a quad racer for my races. Those suck ass, okay? Straight up and simple. But I'm sorry that you chose that one. Rada Bob, you are a terrible person for using a sniper rifle on them trying to go up that ramp. If you want to use explosives, that's fine, but just stay racing. Okay. <laughs> and my channel name, obviously people that are watching this video already know, it's Raven's Pride. All one word. R-A-V-E-N-S-P-R-I-D-E. -E. Okay. Dominator SG. If you could go anywhere for a week, where would you go? Very good question. <clears throat> very, very good question. Japan. No holds bar. No, I've always been infatuated with Japan, the Japanese people. Always wanted to go there. Uh, two of my sons studied Japanese. Uh, the girls look just absolutely phenomenal, you know. Uh, their culture is really cool, very rich in history. Uh, always wanted to go there and get a sword, you know. But I, I think I really got into wanting to go to Japan after I watched the mini series called Shogun. Okay, uh, it was with Richard Chamberlain back in the 80s, horrible makeup jobs, you know. But it was really funny when the lead samurai peed on him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that was just funny as hell. Uh, but I wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah to my Jewish friends, Happy Ramadan for the people that might be celebrating in other parts of the planet, but I know it's in June. But anyways, also Happy Kwanzaa for all you people that are celebrating Kwanzaa because it is the Harvest, harvest Festival and, you know, good harvest. So you guys have a great day. In YouTube, uh, this is the little section I was telling you about. This is my new Bigfoot website out there, Just Sasquatch. If you see, it's just Just Sasquatch dot webs dot com. Yes, this is well, that's where I grew up when I was a kid. It's Pikes Peak, but this is uh, basically a Bigfoot website that I made a long time ago. Uh, well, just recently because my last one got shut down because well, it got shut down. But we're going to show you a little bit about that. I have a photo gallery. I have a blog. Now, oh, can you see the Bigfoots? Can you see the Bigfoots? No, they're blob squatches. Okay, anyways. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Stay safe, stay warm, and ciao.